man, this is not great for me. finally happening I'm spending a night in honey um, I know we've had honey for it'll be three years I think we bought her in February um, if you guys are new we completely renovated this 1970s camper and I've been wanting to take it camping and just enjoy a weekend away in it there are many reasons why we have not taken the camper out yet I'm currently five months pregnant and i've been sleeping on a sofa for the past two weeks because we are redoing our um bathroom like we're putting a new tub in a new shower all that stuff and we have like insulation there was some rotted wood a little bit of mold so we had to like take all of that out so we just didn't feel safe sleeping in the bedroom that that bathroom is in so i'm excited to actually get a real bed i finally got a real mattress for the camper and i'm so excited to get a real night's sleep tonight on it there is our adorable little fridge that we have for the camper i'm so glad that we upgraded to this so i've just been unloading the groceries it's a little overview of what we're working with. I brought a festive candle to get in the spirit. Um, I just put the dry goods right there for now. Over here, we have everything all set up. Connor's gonna see, hopefully he gets out of work at a decent time. If he does, he's gonna help me set this up to the propane. That way maybe I can like bake some cookies in it, maybe make some tea or hot cocoa on it and get super cozy. Um, but yeah. Everything is looking good in the camper. Um, I think I'm going to light the candle and then hop in the comfy bed, which I'm so excited for you guys. I have no idea how excited I am to be in an actual bed. It's like I said, been two weeks. So it's been so long. Um, and I think I'm gonna read for a little bit um, and then start dinner. Yeah, let's go do that. Look who's here to join us. It's little Willie. Willie, do you like mommy's camper? Do you like it here? You want to live in here with mama? I just found this little mini ice cube tray. So now it's time to get all cozy in our new mattress. I am so excited. This mattress literally feels like a cloud, um, but since it will be my first night sleeping in it, I'm going to give you guys a full review at the end of how the mattress was. Um, but I'm so excited to be working with Brooklyn Bedding again. Um, so they have a whole RV mattress website and they have tons of different mattresses for your campers that fit them exactly how you need them to. So it takes all of the stress out. So if you guys remember, this was me um, a few videos ago unboxing the mattress. It comes all rolled up and then it expands and it's so cool to see this process. And I was shocked at how big and fluffy this mattress was. I got the Aurora Lux Hybrid Mattress in a medium firmness and it is so comfortable you will get an amazing night's sleep on it um, they do have a 120 night sleep trial they also have a 10 year warranty as well as free shipping and they are made in the usa which is so amazing to be able to support i mentioned in the last video i was so shocked at how well this mattress fit in that space because that was always my struggle i could never find a mattress that fit perfectly in this space um, but I do have a coupon code for you guys, which is 20% off of your order. And you guys can use the code our little nest. But like I said, I'm going to test out this mattress fully in this video, get a good night's sleep on it. Connor will sleep on it and we'll see how it goes.
All right, so we're gonna cook our dinner. I'm gonna grab out the couple things I need. I need mushrooms and mustard. Bringing over my basket of all of my food. I printed out my recipe. I'm just gonna put this over here. And I brought a cutting board, but we did make this chop out cutting board, which we could also chop on. I just think it's easier probably to just do it directly on a board. So I've made this recipe a ton of times. Um, I just, use, I just use the Instapot um, every time I make this and it's so simple and easy. Ryan, stop crying. You want a carrot? Wilbur is angry. So let me cut him a carrot. That will make him a little happier. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if he likes that or not. Um, he usually loves carrots. Okay, the first step, I feel like every time I do this, I turn it on saute first. It doesn't say that, but I'm gonna do it. Raw onion has been my one and only aversion while pregnant. And so being in a camper right now, smelling this raw onion, oh man, this is not great for me. I'm not gonna get it. And the worst part about onion too is that it's like stuck on your hands. I feel like we're so long after. Ugh. All right, cup of onion going to grab my favorite measuring cups. It looks like a honeycomb. Fits honey perfectly. I brought Wilbur inside. He was not happy being out here. I don't know why. He just did not like it. So he's back inside working at squirrels. You guys can probably hear him. This has been a debate with all of our friends. Do you guys keep your butter out or do you keep it refrigerated? Let me know because we're always discussing and everyone has different opinions on it. Onion. Mm, it smells so good. It's literally just onion and garlic right now, but it smells amazing. gets here I'm going to make some salad which I'm very excited for. Let me grab the lettuce. All right I'm excited for salad. I have some croutons, craisins, um, carrots, <laughs> and some salad dressing. Connor loves like tons of croutons on his salad. So I'm gonna add a little extra to his. Oh, and it's done. Let's see if our ice cubes are iced. No, oh, not quite. 
Okay, we'll just keep that in there. We have some iced tea for you, sir. So fancy. Let's see how this turned out this time around. Perfect. So the last step is just to add in sour cream. <laughs> you excited for that green tea? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost put it in those like wine glasses that we have here. This looks so good. Delicious. There you go. Okay, we just had our dinner. Connor is getting showered. Obviously, we do have a bathroom here um, with a shower and everything, but um, we're not hooked up to the water. So he's showering inside my parents, but it is so cozy in here at night. I love it. I'm just finishing cleaning up. I threw my lotion in there, but I washed all the dishes. I'm gonna put everything away now. And we're going to start dessert, which I'm really excited for. It is really cold. I think I'm going to have to turn or close all the windows in here. It's really chilly. Okay, so we are going to make some air fryer cookies because like I said I haven't hooked the oven up um, I've never tried this before but they said it can be done online so they said to put parchment paper down and I was gonna make homemade cookies um, and then just bring the dough over but I ended up not having time so we're just going to do it this way with some good old-fashioned Nestle chocolate chip cookie dough So we are going to make some chai for our cookies. We love drinking chai, especially this time of year. So I just use the Tazo concentrate and some milk. I have this adorable little coffee pot that my dad gave me. It is so cute. If you guys remember, the camper um, came with one. It came with like a bunch of these like old vintage um, like coffee pots and um, bowls and stuff like that. So I do have that one, but I just decided to use this little one because I thought it was a little bit easier to use. So I just mix the two together and then some magic happened that heated this up and it was ready to go. camping out tonight like the other nights were so cold and rainy at least it's like I means what's the temperature tonight gonna be yeah, over 30s over 30s <laughs> oh no it's gonna be a little chilly <laughs> this one this one okay i'm not i ask you this one.
it is so dark and I don't think you guys can really see me well, but it is so comfortable. This bed, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to finally get a good night's sleep on this mattress. So thank you Brooklyn Bedding so much for sending this because it is going to be life changing, honestly. Maybe I'll just sleep here the rest of the home renovation. <laughs> But also it's good to know in case you renovate another house, I feel like you could like park this on a property, sleep in it, because we both have plenty of room in here. So we'll see how the night goes. I'll update you guys in the morning. Night, night. Good morning everyone! Connor left probably like 40 minutes ago for work so I kind of just like was moving slowly and then fell back asleep a little bit. Um, I'm so comfortable on this bed. I do not want to get out right now. Um, like I said I was sleeping on a sofa for so long and then this bed in general is just so comfortable. Um, like I said before I got the Aurora Lux hybrid bed, which also has like cooling in it. And even in the winter, I get really hot and I'll like sweat in the middle of the night. And that didn't happen at all. Definitely would recommend this mattress for your camper or even for your house because it is a dream. And I don't want to get out of bed right now, but I know I should probably make some breakfast and get started on the day. It had to have been decently cold because the soap over here froze. The morning sun coming in through the camper is so beautiful right now. It feels so nice to have warm tea. It's not actually that cold outside, but it's like colder in here. And so the tea is like heating my hands right now. But for breakfast, I thought I would finally test out this little waffle maker. I was so excited to buy this for the camper and to use this. Um, I feel like I might've tried it with my nieces when we had first bought it. I don't really remember. But it is just the cutest little waffle maker ever. Um, I have these um, Kodiak. They are protein um, pancakes or waffles. Um, so I'm just going to make these because they are super easy. And they are delicious. I get the dark chocolate ones and it tastes like a brownie. Um, so they are so good. This is so cute. Look 
how adorable. Can you guys hear that? That means my dad is up. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's a cow. My dad has this adorable old vintage truck and he put a cow horn on it. And I think it also does like a rooster and I don't know, some other animals. So I just finished up breakfast and cleaned up a little. I got changed into some clothes for the day and I was first gonna like just hang out in the camper for the rest of the day maybe edit um a little bit but I think I'm gonna head home um it's my sister's birthday today so I want to bake her some cookies and I should get some errands done but I hope that you guys enjoyed um our first night in the camper it was so much fun I feel like I just want to go camping so badly now um and take honey everywhere with us because it was so cute and connor was a little nervous to stay in here because he didn't know like how well we would fit but now that we've like done a practice run of it he is so down to go to a campground and go camping so that makes me really excited um so hopefully more camper videos to come but i hope you guys are all having a great day and don't forget to use the code our little nest if you guys want 20 percent off of your mattress but i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i'll talk to you next time